Hello lovely people! This week I want to talk about a book which I hauled in my birthday haul video and that is Unsuitable for Ladies, an Anthology of Women Travellers by Jane Robinson. I was really excited for this book because I've read two other Jane Robinson books before. They were Blue Stockings, which is all about the first women in the UK to go to university, and Pandora's Daughters, which was sort of like a, a miscellaneous, um, just women throughout history type thing. Um, both of those were like narratives that are telling you about women. So you're primarily driven by the voice of Jane Robinson, and then she's introducing you to figures or introducing you to like um, topics within the theme, that sort of thing. Whereas this is an anthology of extracts, which I found harder to get into that, which might be my own fault, maybe I'm not made for anthologies, maybe I should have picked up on the title where it said an anthology. So, my main point of comparison for this is Pandora's Daughters, which was organised sort of by like time period, and then within each like time period chapter we would explore a number of different women, like one by one. Whereas this is organised by geography. So, um, for example, chapters, there's the continent, there'll be, there's like Japan and Southeast Asia, there's the Indian subcontinent, it's, you go through geographically, and within each chapter you explore extracts from all over the time. All over the time? Many different time periods is the better way to phrase that. So I think where I struggled with this book was I had been wanting to get to know individual women travellers and learn their stories and sort of discover some cool women, if you will, which I found hard to do with this because I didn't... F it's, it's a bunch of extracts. The extracts are not in each chapter organised by, for example, they don't go chronologically in time. There are sort of some themes and topics discussed and extracts follow on from that. But obviously you don't know who the extract is from until you get to the end of it and then it's credited with who it's from and what text it's from. Which I found hard because I'd find there are women who crop up throughout multiple chapters, but I didn't know I was reading their thoughts until I got to the end of the extract. And I just, I found it, I found it hard to hold in my head, like, threads of particular women. So I feel like um, I have come out of this, like, a good point is I have come out of this with a better understanding of what um, travelling as a woman in certain time periods would like. I have definitely come out with um, uh, a sense of like the varied experiences, you know, it's not a conglomerate, there are, some people loved X place and other people hated X place and they went at the same time and all of this stuff, like, I've definitely, there has been a lot of good in this, I just found it a little harder, and she says in her introduction that like she's intending for people to dip in and out, and I sort of was doing that, and then I found like I just wasn't really like getting very far through it, so then I just read the whole thing. So that was just like the struggle that I had with this text. On a positive side, um, I think this is a really good start point. By about halfway through, I was able to pick up on women who either I liked their tone or I liked the sort of things they were discussing in their extracts and stuff. So I have made note of a variety of texts that I now want to go and see if the library has and explore. So I think if you're interested in a start point, for going forward and doing further reading under your own steam, this is really good as an introduction into the topic. I think if you're looking for like a narrative or, you know, like the whole thing I've babbled about, then this won't be exactly what you're looking for. I think I mainly wanted there to be a bit more of Jane Robinson in this because I personally enjoyed Jane Robinson's writing in her other two books. I found it really accessible and easy to read and easy to absorb the non-fiction that she was giving me. And I think I found it a bit hard with this as well, just because of the, the way mine is set out. All of the extracts are in normal type, and then anything Jane is saying is in italics, and I just found that text font uh, italicised a bit harder to really consume. So, like, it's been a mixed reading experience. I am glad I read this. It has been interesting. I think if I was to recommend Jane Robinson to people, I would recommend Pandora's Daughter over this. But if you're interested in women travellers throughout time, um, I would still recommend this in some ways. <laughs>
I'm going to draw it to a close there. I think that's sufficient to just sort of get across what that reading experience was like for me. It's kind of hard to review the content of this because the content is so varied, because it is just a whole load of different women's experiences, and they vary so much in so many ways that it's sort of hard to draw commonality. There are obviously things which multiple people have experienced and stuff like this, but it's sort of hard to draw really big conclusions from it because, like, human experience is varied. So it's been an interesting reading experience. If you've also read this, I'd be really interested to see how you got on with it. Was it just me? Did you find it perfectly accessible? Was it what you were looking for? Etc. Um, today's challenge is leave a comment below with your favourite piece of travel writing. And that's it from me. I will see you next week.